If he'll do it, that will be perfect. If not, I guess we'll try to stick a shot in the shoulder. It doesn't look like he's going to, so I think this is it. A little bit of a left crosswind. We might just have something special. What you're looking at is an eight-year-old, three-star mature, melanistic fallow deer. That's the first year of maturity. And he's actually next to, as this guy walks over here, a second year mature, three star. I think both of these have a chance, but in my opinion, the melanistic as he is now is bigger than the other three star was in his first year. He looks incredible as is, and today is the day we get to see exactly where he ends up. Literally just out here passing time, and we've got a five star road here. He's 499 now got a four star mature for the common and look at that Mela. obviously still a three star he's a year behind the common one super wide set just so impressive palmation i don't see how he doesn't make it he looks incredible as is another cycle another five star roadier literally in the exact same herd as the 499 from before 94%, 482, not too bad. Four star mature at 10 years old. I feel super confident with that. Our other fellow is still a four star, which means he's not some like insane 99 percenter or anything like that. Maybe the mellow will be. We shall see, but it's the perfect setup. With the common four star being one year older, we can go to the max age for sure with no difficulties, no concerns of letting the Mela die of old age. Oh my goodness, it is actually happening. Our Melanistic is a five star already and he's only 11 years old. He has to have really high genetic potential then, look at that. And then so clearly, the other one, which is very much still alive and also very much a five star, obviously, He's close to the size of him, but with our melanistic 5-star moose that we shot over on Aurora Shores, we killed him a year early. There's no reason to do that with the mela. This guy's alive. He's a year older. So we can see this mela maximize his full potential. 5-star mela, and not only that, he's going to be pretty high genetic potential. We will see him fairly soon, hopefully staring him down with a bow. And in the meantime, another bonus 5 star for the launch. 480 on the dot. Just based on the rate, the fact that this guy got to 5 star a year later, we know the Mel is going to be even bigger than that. One age cycle left to go. I think this is it. Look at the width of that frame. He looks enormous now. Pretty darn confident that last age cycle is passed. And I think it might finally be time. That looks like a one star young, which would confirm we've gotten the cycle. That's the replacement of the five star we've just killed. So we've got the bow and we need to find ourselves a decent little spot here. Up here in the rocks is not going to work. I want to get a good location so we can get a good clean shot. I mean, that is nothing short of incredible. I think we moved a little too much. So they're alerted. It looks like they're going to call back down. If we can get him in here around the area that this adult is at, I think that's going to be good. Look at him. The size of that frame is absolutely absurd. Should be about time to call again, for whatever reason. He's wanting to trot back down there. I think that call got him coming back this way. And the rest of them are kind of clearing out. So this could be the perfect opportunity. I cannot believe what we're looking at. That is one of the most impressive fallow deer we've ever seen in this game. Look at that. Under 50 yards. We're not taking the shot till he's at 27 or less. That's the top pin on the bow. And if 
we can time this up correctly, hopefully we can get a broadside shot. We're sort of up a little bit high, so that could really help us out. The frame is just insane though. Into 32. How is this going to work out? I think we should go ahead and get ready. Hopefully he's going to give us that broadside shot. I'm hoping he's going to kind of look at us and then start to walk to the side. We're going to come to full draw. See if he'll maybe do that. The two stars doing it. If he'll do it, that will be perfect. If not, I guess we'll try to stick a shot in the shoulder. It doesn't look like he's going to, so I think this is it. A little bit of a left crosswind. Dropped him. Over on Matariki Park, we had a three-star mature Melodistic Fallow, and we didn't make the initial shot, and I felt so bad about it. It just didn't seem like the right way to bring an end to that story. Maybe the one wrong way here is the mere fact that we're not going to get a trophy photo, because there's not much to do a trophy photo of. We will do plenty of photo shoots in the lodge, though, and let's see what we just did here. Lung and liver, little back, but trying to favor to the right because of the wind. And did we do this correctly? Was he for sure H? He's a 97.76% melanistic fallow deer, which is absurd in and of itself. 491.9. We gave him that extra year, and he scores in the 490s. As if it needs to be said, our biggest rare ever in Way the Hunter took him with the bow at 26 yards. He could not have stopped better for us i mean that frame every time i look at it you could fit another fallow deer within the surface area those antlers take up homegrown rare five stars in this game to me that's just peak way the hunter it is so cool and we literally watched him he was right over there from a year old all the way up to 12 two five stars from his herd and because of that it seemed maybe he wasn't gonna make it but he turned out to be the biggest of the three. So now, the original plan, when we found a Melanistic Fallow, was I wanted to put him in this multi-mount. And while I still do, he can't be up out of the way like this. He has to be center stage down here. We're gonna have to move some stuff around. And fittingly enough, I didn't know this, we can actually do the same mount down here in the main part of the lodge. So I want the Mela in the middle, I think that makes the most sense. Gonna cost us a little bit of our credits, but gonna be very much worth it. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Homegrown, watch him from a year old, to that, now forever in the Trophy Lodge. I think he may be our biggest fallow full stop at 492. I can't recall any over 490 in the past. So there it is. Completed mount, and I mean like, it's not even hard to see it. He is so much bigger, at least than the one on the left that we can so easily compare the frames. He's notably wider. Actually, I think notably wider than both. And I really like that in the center with two other five stars. And the good news was we were able to do the red deer mount up here too. So our albino is still very much in the lodge, but his place as kind of center stage has been taken by a much higher scoring melanistic fallow deer. Also, our road deer. Our two five stars from the aging process, just killing time. Our 499 sits right here above the doorway. We can't get a 500 scoring five star. So many animals, 99.5% genetic potential or better. 499s, 498s, we can't get to 500. Our 482, of course, is just inside the doorway there. But you know, an animal is pretty special when a 499 scoring five star is almost like an afterthought part of the aging montage for the melanistic but i think in this case it ends up being warranted got a couple of fallow from the quest to get him as well over there on the right side now this lodge is really filling up it all started with the albino red deer but it ended with this guy easily my favorite kill in wave hunter we got the melan melanistic moose over on aurora shores that was awesome too but there's something about the size of this one, getting to go to that additional year because we had the other 5-star in the herd. The confidence to do it, even though he was already a 5-star. Because of those amazing genetics, 
That was just, what a journey. All the way along, calling him in, getting him with the bow at that range. The coolest thing we've ever encountered in the game. And he's finally at home in the lodge. But anyway, I think that is going to do it for this video. I don't know how we could possibly top that experience. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.